is a Takasasu with the Dark Wardens, and once I noticed some people have been mentioning they have problems with the view distance not loading properly and being able to see far away, um, I thought I'd do a short video on how to change your video settings. Um, with the new view distance, there's going to be a lot of problems if you have a, your computer on the lower settings. Um, you might need more RAM and a better better video card, and you might want to check um, your your system on a website ca called Can I Run It? Or on um, another website, I'll put in the links below, um, to see if you can upgrade your computer a little bit to get, make this game run better. Another couple things you could do is change the view distance. You notice I have a pretty decent view distance, but it's not perfect. Like, I can't see stuff that's, you know, past the waterline, pretty much. Um, last night we were looking at this, and if I get from here, just somewhere around here, the whole building goes out of view. And so, what you want to do is, it's because of the, this not loading, the view distance is too far away, and it's actually a setting on within your game. So we're going to go here, we're going to press escape, and we're going to go to options, and we're going to go to video controls, and you realize I have a custom graphic setting. Um, we can't change the view distance here, we'd actually have to log out of the game. So I can't show you how this works here, but we can change a few other settings. Um, if you're having rubber banding problems and stuff, it's probably a video card or RAM issue, because once I upgraded to at least 8 gigs RAM, Mm, the game played much better on my end, and I also turned off reflected shadows and a few other things, so that way I wasn't having as much problem with the, with the rubber banding and the logging off and the view distance. Um, so when you're logged out of the game, go ahead and go into the settings, the video settings, and you have to play with your view distance a little bit to see if you could get it to, to the area you want. I believe I have mine set on medium. And then I turned off, turned on ambient, depth of field, sun shafts. I made sure motion blur was turned off. I kept the water quality at high. Background opacity there. And I bumped this up, I think, to about That and this should be level of detail, um, field of view. So this uh, this this expands this this way. So um, this is, this will change settings that way a little bit for you and increase your depth perception on the sides. Um, your view distance is really where it's at. If you were to bump this up one or two, if you're uh, system was able to handle it, you would notice a huge difference in your ability to see far away. Obviously, I cannot change that where the game is off. Now you'll notice that I changed that. Things become much more, much less fish-eyed and much more um, depth perception, which does help a little bit. But mostly it's going to be your view distance, which you will have to change when you're outside of the game. Um, let's do that real quick. Hopefully I'll be able to log back in right away. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll check this out and see how it's working. I'm going to do something. I think I'm immune to damage because I'm logging out. So once you're logged out of the game, you're going to have to go to options, video, and then you're going to change this view distance. And I'm pretty sure if we bring it up to 10, apply, we'll be able to see that. I always pick the one that's pinging higher when it does this. Passwords, so I'll have to change for our players.
I'm thankful. I'm very thankful that the logging problem I had seems to be fixed. It used to be if I logged out, if I tried to log back in, it would say the game's still loading or still running, and it wouldn't let me log back in for hours, and it was kind of really painful. I either had to reset my computer or I had to just wait. So I'm really glad it's fixed. Um, I'm planning on doing another video later on glitches I found just so the moderators can get a feel for things that I've caught in the game that are not working. Because um, I'd really like them to be in a hot fix soon. Now I believe I up here a bit. Now our view distance is much farther. See, the building doesn't cut out on us, and it was just the level of view distance you had. Um, also, it was changing the perception, changes depth of perception, and it kind of makes my brain a little cross, but you can get used to it, and it will make shooting much easier because you have... <gasps> Whoa! I walked right off of that. Huh. Anyway, it, it, it's kind of hard to, to work on it. Um, uh, if your field of view is off, it's kind of hard to shoot correctly because things are just a little bit off. Anyway, so anyway, that's how to change your view, view distance and settings inside of the airplane. We are in a random gen game. You can see now that now the the thing's not showing because it's, it is evolved the view distance. So the higher your view distance, the bigger impact you have on your video card and your RAM. But the better your view is going to be. So if we run this way, so it's always a, a, a balance between performance and visual appeal on the game. Plenty of view distance here. So anyway, um, from that tower, I also have the problem is that you can't really see the hotel, and so it's kind of unnerving. But anyway, I hope this helped anyone who's having a problem with it. Um, I had some friends having a problem, and I thought I'd do a quick video. Take care, and this is Uza Texasa with the Dark Wardens.